One of the neatest green products I think I've ever found is a tankless water heater. And so let me give you a couple difference, differences between a tankless and a conventional tank water heater. So er, you know what a big fat tankless looks, or fat tank water heater looks like, and I'll show you in just a minute. But let's talk about the advantage of a tankless. So this little water heater you see sitting on the wall right here equals about a 75 gallon tank water heater. This is the size of a carry-on suitcase. You could put this in a carry-on suitcase take it on an airplane and fit it into an actual suitcase. It's that small. The neat advantage is this will run, this model will run 7.5 gallons of water, hot water at 120 degrees per minute. You'll notice it sits on the wall. It saves a ton of space. It uses about 30% less energy because right now it's 100% dead off. Zero energy is being used. This only stores about a gallon of water through all the little piping. Super safe, you'll notice it can't fall over in an earthquake, it's bolted to the wall. Uh, again, the energy savings, you'll never run out of hot water because it makes it as fast as you can use it, up to seven and a half gallons per minute. So it actually works in the opposite of a tank water heater. A tank water heater, you don't want to run the showers at the same time because they'll run out of water quicker and then you're with a cold shower. This unit, you can run literally two and a half, three showers all at the same time. So it's actually more green in a sense because you don't have to reheat that water up to get it hot to get it over the shower. So let's go over and take a look at my neighbor's heater. So here's the big fat tank water heater. As you'll notice this is the same exact configuration as my garage. It's my buddy next door, Matt, but it's okay because he's a chef and I love to eat over here. But when this goes out, we're going to replace it with the same one I just showed you back at my house. And it's going to give him a bunch of space. He'll be able to put a water softener in, store a bunch of stuff here, and at the same time, save a bunch of money not heating water. So this thing right now, if you, you can't hear it on the video, but it's actually running right now, heating up all this water. Every time they turn the, the hot or cold on, the burner comes back on the thing. It has to heat back up. So let's go back over and I'll, I'll finish up over at my house. So there you go. I hope you see the advantage. And by the way, if something breaks in this, you just replace the part. If something breaks over there in that big old fat one, it goes into the dump, taking up a bunch of space in the dump. Again, not nearly as green as a tankless water heater. So uh, if you're looking to pick one of these up, the best time to do it is probably when yours either bursts or you need a new one, think about a tankless. I have all kinds of connections here in San Diego to get you a great deal and awesome service. Or if you're not in San Diego and you're watching this in some other state or city, give me a quick call and I'll refer you to somebody who specializes in tankless in the area.